So let me show you how to insert data into a database using prepared statement. Prepared statement allows you to insert data and uh, it, it, it does not allow SQL injection. So let's just start from the scratch. Let's create a new project and uh, let's just call this project uh, demo. Let's just say demo, demo. That's all, so, so that we don't waste any time. So um, demo, okay. So let's add H2 database. No, no H2. This time we are using a MySQL database is what we are going to use. Spring Data JPA, okay, nice. So these are the things you need. So what we want to do is when this application runs, it's going to just insert data into the database, right? So what we need to do to specify the database properties in the application properties file. So I have my SQL database in my system. So my SQL is what we are going to use. So this, this will be an insertion statement using prepared uh, statement, but the table or the, the table in the database is going to be created for us automatically. So we need to specify the data source URL. The data source URL is my SQL J, uh, JD, JDBC. My SQL is running on localhost. Uh, running on port 3301, my database runs on, on port 3301, so you need to figure out where else it's running. And let's call it employee DB. So let's say list of employees is what we want to store. So this, the, what I'm adding now is necessary uh, to prevent server time zone issues. Server time zone equal to UTC. All right, so this is the data source URL. Then we need to also specify the driver. So uh, it should be data source of driver source. Uh, data source. What is happening to me? Data source uh, dot driver driver class name, we need to specify it. For MySQL, the driver class name should be com.mysql, com.mysql.cj.jdbc.driver. Uh, okay, it completed it for us. The password is roots, data source.password is roots. And the username is also root. So these are the three things you, uh, the two things you need to specify. And we also need some additional two more lines. So let's just put two more lines so that we have this uh, database initialized every time uh, the query runs every time we start the application. So we need to specify initialization mode to always and DDL auto to update. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to go to the main file or to the main class. So let's write the code to run this uh, application or to insert the data, uh, data into the database using prepared statement. It's going to run in the main uh, method. So let's write this query here. So I'm going to put a comment code to insert into a database. Meanwhile, what we specified in the properties is simply there because we want the application, our application to create a table for us. As you mean we want to create a table manually in our database, then we may not need all this. So, okay, so this is fine. So let's create uh, a new object or a new entity. Right, so let's call it employee. So employee object we are going to create, and that is the kind of data we are going to insert. Dot models. Let me just put it in another package. All right, so an employee will simply have an ID. And a name. So let's keep it simple. Okay, so what we are going to do for the system for Spring to create this database, the table for us the free, uh, for free, we need to use annotation at entity here, right? Good. 
and also specify that this is the ID key, right? Control Shift O on your keyboard displays this window and simply say finish and that is fine. All right, so this is our model. So again, we just create uh, getters and setters and also a constructor. So let's just go to source and just choose generate constructor using fields and just say generate. It's always good to have an empty constructor. So create an empty constructor. It's very easy to create. So this is an empty constructor. And finally, I like generating getters and setters. So just come here and say source and generate getters and setters. Perfect. So select all and we have getters and setters generated for us. We have a complete photo now. So let's now go to write the preferred statement code. Uh, to insert data into this database, uh, into the table in this database using prepaid. If you're a Java developer and you don't know about prepaid statement, then um, I wonder what you are doing because this is something you should know. For the first thing, you also specify both the driver and the URL. So instead of typing it out, I'm going to copy the URL. I'm just going to copy the URL, copy. I'm going to say uh, string URL is equal to, so this is the URL, control B, and also specify, specify the driver, string driver equals, so let's copy the driver as well. Uh, we already have it in properties files, so let's just copy and paste it right there. So let's copy and then paste. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to now uh, use the full name. So you would say class dot So the class's full name is driver. I wonder if this is really necessary. I think I'll remove it along the line. Class dot uh, Okay, so I'm going to just. Okay, so we are going to come back to this. So the next thing I'm going to do later, we are going to surround this code with try touch block. So we are going to create a connection, connection, connection equal to driver manager dot get connection the use uh, get connection re requires that you specify the url and the password the username and the password as well okay this is fine and the next nice thing we want to write the query so let's, go, let's complete this so we are going to do this later so the query uh, let's call it a uh, it's a string query is equal to insert insert into employee values we have only id and name let's see it my name all right so with this this is how insert query so we want to use prepaid statement to run this query so to do that, we simply start by creating a prepared statements. Okay, so prepared statements is equal to connection dot prepared statements. And we simply give it the query we want to execute, that's all. So that is what prepare statement takes, all right? And then we now execute these statements, right? So to execute this statement, you simply say prepare statements, prepared statements dot execute, and that's all. That's all you need to do. And then maybe we can just close the connection, maybe or maybe not. So let's just close the connection. All right, perfect. So let's enclose this in try catch block. Let me see if I can find, if I can enclose it in try catch block by looking for something like, is there anything like surround with 
around the uh, oh, let's see okay so I don't get any help here um, okay so we'll end up adding it manually so let's go to say try okay and at the end of this place we are going to enclose and then we're going to cast any exception that of course exception x okay so if any exception of call any exception of course I want to print out uh, the print I want to print out the error in the console in the error error stream so error I append the message ex dot get message perfect so if an error occurs I want to see what error occurs so this is how to do it and finally one small piece of step we need to take so we are going to just come here and create a, a, a database called employee db so simply say create so here is MySQL command prompt. So if you install MySQL, you simply go to open your start menu and just go to MySQL. You'll see the command prompt and just open it. Command line client. Okay. So we simply create a database. The database is the same name we specified in the database URL. Create database employee DB. So let's see what name I have here. So I have employee db so create database employee db all right so this is what we need to do so now this database does not contain anything so if i say show tables or let's start by saying use employee db so i say used so it's actually use employee db so show tables no table is an empty site so but now if we run this code we are going to have the table created for us and data inserted into the into the into the table for us so i'm going to just go ahead to right click on this demo and just say run as run as spring boot app okay so let's see how it works um ah, we have error so it says um, entity manager defines have the fine part of the configure express method, blah, 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 all the way to the end. Hmm, driver claims not to accept JDBC URL. Okay, so let's just check where this problem is coming from. So let's see. MySQL JDBC. So this is the URL, MySQL JDBC. Oh, I have MySQL twice, so let's take out one. MySQL, uh, no, that, that is not right. So I did, I need to take out the first one, <coughs> JDBC MySQL. So that is this how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to save and I'm going to now run it. And let's see. Hopefully, everything works fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, we still have error. So let's see where the error is coming from this this time. Um. So it tells us MySQL JDBC employee DB claims not to accept JDBC URL. So let's see. Com.mysql, the CJ. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's check application properties. MySQL JDBC MySQL. So we have the same error here. So we have, it should be MS, JDBC MySQL. So let's take out one of them. So I'm going to save and I'm going to run again. All right, so run. So at this point, you can see that Tomcat actually started. And we hope that this code have run, uh, actually run. And let's now go to look at our database. So this time I'm going to execute show tables show tables and you can see that one table is available there so if i say select start from employee so you can see that one item is inserted so this is how to use prepared statement to insert data into my sql database so this is the, the code the first thing you do is create a string driver the phone name the connection 
the query, prepare the set frame, and then you execute it and maybe close connection. You can actually do this in a few lines, but just to make it play, I have written it in separate lines. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If this has been informative for you, please hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. And also leave a comment if you have any challenges following this lesson or if you have any other challenges in writing programs or developing applications.